Here are the stages I went through for painting this portrait of a pretty lady. I started with this photo, used the regular steps that I teach on my DVD, and wound up with this final portrait. After projecting the photo right onto the canvas, I make this very simple sketch to use as a foundation to get everything located exactly where it belongs, right from the start. That saves me tons of time later making a lot of adjustments. Next, as always, the background gets roughed in first. So there will be colors and values on the canvas to help me make the right color and value judgments for the rest of the painting. The hair came next, since it butts right up to the background and I could judge how light or dark the values should be against this background. I threw in a little tone on the right side of the face just to remind me of the direction of the light source. I did the shoulders in two separate sessions because the rolls and folds were kind of tricky and it took some time to get them looking right. The blouse came next since it butts right up to the jacket. There were a lot of large value changes here on the blouse from almost pure white to deep black so I needed to be able to compare these values with the values in the jacket. Remember, I'm not trying to get final values yet for any of these large masses. Just an approximate color and value to get me going in the right direction. These are only the first stages. The second shoulder finished off almost everything that was not skin tone. And I could now use those colors and values to get the skin tone colors and values pretty close to their final look on this first pass. I decided to do another pass on the hair before going to the skin. At last, finally getting down to the fun part, the skin. After roughing in all those skin areas, I started refining the eye on the right. But it was getting late, and I knew I couldn't finish the entire head in this session, so I stopped here. I wanted to be able to finish with a fresh eye on the next session. Now here's where the painting really comes to life. After finishing the eye on the left, I went over the entire painting two or three times. Here and there I lightened some areas and darkened others. I strengthened the highlights in the hair and did a transparent glaze of color on the skin to warm it up. I used a little artistic license here and kept the shadows on the face lighter than on the original photo. More time was spent on this final stage than on all the others put together. If you work in a tight, logical system like this, you will be amazed at how much your work will improve. Don't expect a masterpiece in the early stages. As you saw, mine was very scary in the beginning. What you're trying to do is build a foundation on which to slowly build the real painting. Just like in a building. No one ever sees the foundation that's holding it up, just the finish. I teach this method of building a painting in my DVD called How I Did It. Drop me an email at irudley at comcast.net and I'll point you in the right direction. Or check out my websites www.cfsvideo.net and www irvrudley.com Of course, the real secret to becoming a good artist is in those three little words. Practice, practice, practice. And I even have another DVD to help you with this as well. It's called The Practice Portrait. Get them now. And most importantly, remember to have fun painting. <laughs>